a decent one. Damn, it went full dolphin on me. What this does is imitates a minnow, so when it swims, it just kind of swims side to side. There you go. Right on. First mini jig fish. Jack Frost once again. And that El Diablo. Well, that might be a little bit better one. Oh, Ooh. perfect. <laughs> just like I trained him. All right, in today's adventure, we're uh, doing something a little different today. We're taking a, a beginner out with us. Uh, my good friend Hannah has never fished before. She never held a fishing rod, never done any of it. So we're going to take her out to the lake. I'm going to show her how to how to cast, uh, how to fish mini jigs and spoons, and of course a little bait and weight. And uh, we'll see if uh, see if we can get into some. So as always, uh, if you like the content here, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. It helps me understand I'm putting out good content for you. And uh, make sure you stay tuned to the very end. I'm going to wrap everything up and uh, tell you exactly what happened in the video and uh, some things you didn't see. So let's see how we did. This is a spoon. Doesn't look like a fish or want anything to do with that. Mm -hmm. What this does is it imitates a minnow, so when it swims, it just kind of swims side to side. So what you want to do, is you want to get it just to swim side to side like that. See how it's just kind of going side to side? Now how you cast, you take your thumb, hold the line down, and then you pull this back. Mm -hmm. So it's empty, so if you let go, Mine falls in the water, right? Yeah. And you don't have to be powerful with it. Mm. Just pull it over when you want to let it go. It's a nice easy cast. Let it hit and then you flip this back. Mm -hmm. And you just start reeling. And you want to have just a nice even speed like that. Mm. And then stop for a second and then just keep going. Until you feel something, you'll feel something jerk on it. And then when it jerks, you jerk back. But you don't have to go like just a little bit just set the hook you stop and you kind of just go like this and you can feel see how the rod tips kind of bouncing a little bit mm -hmm. you can kind of feel it wiggling you stop every once in a while just for a half second and what's going to happen is you're going to be super paranoid waiting for that thing to <laughs> to bite sometimes it'll hit pretty hard <laughs> And then when you're fighting the fish, when it's doing this, you don't reel. You just hold the rod up at a 45 so it keeps a bend in it, and that'll keep the hook set in it, right? And then when it stops doing that, and then you start gaining ground. It's kind of like tug of war. Mm -hmm. And then when he starts running real fast like that, just stop and just hold it, okay? And I'll coach you through it. Okay, so. so I pull it like that. Mm-hmm. Push, pull this back. There you go. And just watch so you make sure the line's clear of all that, right? It's clear? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you just swing it back. Okay. And then just go forward. Whoop. Oh, I have to let go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Now crank that back. Now you crank this by hand. Yep. And then just start reeling. Oh, you still got it? No, I don't think so. Well, keep coming. Yeah. You have something on there. Oh, yeah. You got a fish. Oh. oh. Call that a skilled release. Look at that. <laughs> Did it all by yourself. <laughs>
Yep. Oh yeah. Back up a little bit. There you go. Oh, hold it, hold it right there. Wait, put them back in the water. Just put them, put them right at the bank there. There you go. Come here, dummy. Yeah. There you go, first fish. <laughs> All right, killing it on the spoons. Now get another one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hit that thing on the drop. That candy cane. Maybe a little bit stronger. Yeah, he's really excited. It's the biggest one so far. It's a giant. Oh, we yeah, got that candy cane right in his beak. Junkie bro. Jack Frost once again. Calm down, little fella. Oh, that's a better size one. Come on, Hannah, I'm catching all the toads over here. Oh, they like you. They're just playing hard to get. They're just playing hard to get right now. Yeah, it's a much nicer quality fish. Come on, son. Just want to get that hook out of your mouth. go Jack Frost right there here you want to trade you want to try this one sure all right let me show you let me show you what I'm doing so you cast just the same a little bit harder because it's super light right yeah see the water flip yeah, your bail yeah. back just let it sink reel in your slack just let it sink for a little bit and just kind of bounce it and then see how slow I'm reeling? Yeah. And then just stop. And just kind of just barely move it because you're never going to hit the bottom. Yeah. So just kind of just, just real slight. Don't keep your rod way up here. Just keep it down almost parallel to the or horizontal to the water. Mm -hmm. and just keep doing that. And you'll feel like it might get tight. Like you won't feel a tug. Yeah. Like on the pause, it'll, it'll feel tight. Just give it a little hook set and see if something's there. There you go. I flip the bail back. Reel up the slack a little bit, just let it sink a little bit. And light bounces. Much slower, much slower. Bounce it. Bounce it while you reel it, and then stop. Yeah, just like that. Imagine like it's like a little puppet out there. You're just trying to make it dance. Got one? There you go. Right on. First mini jig fish. All right, hold it right there. Hold it right there. Let me get the net out. Slide him over here. There you go. All right. Here, pull some line out here. That's a nice size one too.
Yes. And that El Diablo. Well, that might be a little bit better one. That's a nice little fish. Yeah, that's that's the that's probably the biggest one. You can see you can get a little free air conditioning out of it. <laughs> All right, there you have it. Uh, uh, great time on the water. Uh, Hannah absolutely killed it. Um, we must have caught together uh, near 40 fish. Uh, just just an awesome day. And uh, uh, if, if, if you were watching her uh, technique and you noticed her technique was very unconventional because she's brand new. Um, uh, but it, it didn't matter. She was, she was out there trying it and she was getting fish. So um, a lot of you guys that are just starting out throwing mini jigs or spoons, um, uh, I put this out here to, to get you to, out there and get you trying. Um, uh, you aren't going to catch fish if you don't try. So, um, as you can see, uh, uh, she didn't have the best technique, but it was working. So just sometimes it's just a matter of getting your bait out there and, uh, uh moving it any way you can. And the, the technique will come with, with, uh, experience. The more you do it, the better you'll get at it. Uh, but there's absolutely no reason you can't go out today and catch fish if you never throw a mini jig or a spoon. Uh, so get out there and try. So with that, if you want any of the uh, Golden State fishing baits uh, you saw in this video uh, that works so good, uh, there would be a hyperlink in this video description, QR code right up here. Uh, if you type in code CSPANKER at checkout, you get 10% off. Likewise, with the RHA spoons that we're seeing in this video and working real well, uh, uh, hyperlinks in the video description and the QR code. If you type in uh, code get hooked, you get 10% off. And the uh, Waterland sunglasses I wear all the time now. Uh, the QR code's right here. There's also a hyperlink in the video's description. If you type in code CSPANKER, you get 15% off. Now, as far as uh, what's coming up, uh, I got some local stuff uh, coming. I'm, I'm uh, back home for a little bit. Uh, in a few weeks, I'm going to go back up to the Sierras. Uh, but I do have some Sierra videos on deck for my last trip to the Sierras. <laughs> uh, and, and a couple how-to videos coming, coming your way. So uh, uh, lots of content coming. So stay tuned, and uh, I will get it out to you. Uh, uh, looks like on a weekly basis. Seems like every Monday is, is what's been working out. So uh, for a while, I've been uploading uh, continuously on Monday. So we're gonna we're gonna keep with that. And uh, the way it's looking now, I got I got a video for next month. So uh, uh, we'll see. And I got more trips planned. So uh, uh, hope to see you guys out there and uh, tight lines. Start real. Oh, it's pulling line. Yeah, he's on there. Is he still on there? I don't think so. Ah, uh, it must come off. All right, try again. <laughs> right here. You sure? Oh, yeah, I think it came off. All right, try again. <laughs> yeah, it's on there. Yep. You're on. I give it a hook set. Pull back on it. Like that. There you go. <laughs> See if it's on there. Mm -hmm. Is it on there? I think so. Nope, came off again. Nope. Dang it. <laughs> Are you serious? Take it easy. Take it easy. Oh yeah, bobber's down. It went down this time. Okay, now reel in the slack and set the hook this time. I yank back on it. What was that? Yank back on it. 
Oh, you missed it. <laughs> here, here, watch. I'll show you. Now pull. You missed him again. <laughs> yep. Oh, he dropped it. I was too slow. Pull hard. There you go. Oh, no, it's line so slight. Reel up, reel up, reel up. Ah, oh, you missed it. <laughs> I can't even see it. Okay. Just reel down. Do you feel something? Yeah. You know, set it. Pull it hard. You got him? No, I think I lost him. Oh. Yep. No way. No way. <laughs>